It's the story of one of Virginia's heroines, a story of strength and determination that reunited Mary Draper Ingalls with her family after being captured by Native Americans in 1755. Walk to Freedom, the Mary Draper Ingalls story is being performed on the last Sunday of every month this summer in the Sunken Garden at Nestlerod Bed and Breakfast. Tickets are available online, the information's on your screen, but we are excited to get a sneak peek on our Harvester Performance Center stage. Here now is a scene from Walk to Freedom. So, Betty, the dear Harmon's good people took me to their home Mrs. Harmon had the good sense to feed me slowly. They gently bathed my swollen legs and feet, nursing me back to health. It was a couple of days before they judged me strong enough to travel, but when that time came, we made the trip here to Fort Frederick. All those four months, William and John had been trying to find us. William implored the authorities at Williamsburg to send the militia to help. They also sought help, sought help from the Cherokee Nation, but had no success with them either. They were returning dispirited from that errand and had no inkling I was at the fort, but when they arrived, they found to their surprise. Mary? Oh, Mary. My sweet, sweet Mary. I, I searched for you. I, oh, your brother John and I have been to Williamsburg to ask help to find you and bring you home. We are even now returning from meeting with the Cherokee. Oh, how I have longed for this day. But how? How is it that you got back when no other means of ours could help? That, dear husband, it seems is a question folks never seem to tire asking, but I walked. I slipped away from them and I walked. I had to be with you again and our boys. We have to find our boys. Oh, there, there. Do not trouble yourself too much right now. You were taken in July and, and here it is December. And all that way, you must be so tired and weak. I fear I am much altered, William. I may never be the same. I may be stronger, more determined, but never quite the same. But Mary, nothing has changed with us, with our love. And you will see I have such plans now that you are back home. But. Where is home? From this day, it is wherever we are together. I could scarce believe it when I learned that I might have walked so much as 800 miles. And fortunately for the old Dutch woman, shortly after we parted in the woods, she found an abandoned cabin. I told the others about her and they saw my great concern. So a party of men went out to find her. We were reunited briefly before she joined a wagon train back to her beloved Pennsylvania. But for me, as beautiful as it is, I could not return to Draper's Meadow to live, nor would William ask that of me. That next spring, we left this fort and stopped for a while at Vaz's Fort up at the head of the Roanoke. But before long, I felt that terrible uneasiness, much like I did that Sunday, July of 17 and 55. This time William heeded me, or <laughs> humored me, and we removed to Bedford County, just below the Blue Ridge. We were sad to hear that shortly after the Indians attacked Fort Vaz. Many were killed, and upwards of a hundred were led away like we were, but life is for living, so William has secured a beautiful parcel of land on the New River and has already built me a cabin there. It is near the great road, so he has such plans. A ferry to cross the water, and he's even talking of a tavern and a smith shop. Oh, and bet I have two little girls you must meet. They are sure to love their Aunt Betty.